big runoff election coming up in Mississippi on Tuesday. Thad Cochran, a veteran Republican senator, is in trouble. He's in a runoff now. And most people expect his Tea Party challenger, State Senator Chris McDaniel, to beat him because in a low turnoff runoff, those who have the passion come out. So let's consider it the fourth quarter. Let's say Thad Cochran's down a couple touchdowns. Who do you want? Well, Mississippi's favorite son, Brett Favre. Look at this Hail Mary. I've learned through football that strong leadership can be the difference between winning and losing. And when it comes to our state's future, trust me, Mississippi can win. And win big with Thad Cochran as our strong voice in Washington. So this Let's is, go. <laughs> this is the establishment riding to right. Thad Cochran's rescue, right? You've got the right. Chamber of Commerce spending a lot of money in this race trying to prop him up in the runoff. And, you know, Thad Cochran, much more than Chris McDaniel, needs to expand the electorate from the right. runoff. He needs to get the attention of people who didn't vote, who may not be regular Republican primary voters, because, you know, McDaniel can pretty much count on his hardcore... Uh, Republican base right. voters to come to the polls for this runoff. Uh, so the chamber here is, uh, as you said, throwing a Hail Mary, trying right. to get the attention yeah. of regular Mississippians and get them to vote in this runoff. Yeah, right. so they bring out the guy who I think also endorses uh, Wrangler jeans, right. and that very much uh, looks like a Wrangler's uh, jeans <laughs> commercial there with the, him on the truck. Uh, you know, right. I don't know that, the, you know, I'm sort of, and we've talked about this, I'm sort of skeptical of endorsements uh, right. in general, and I'm not sure this will matter. I'm not sure, uh, you know, Brett Favre, the folks like what he has done on the football field. I don't think right. they or necessarily want to take his advice that Thad Cochran is going to be good for education and good for Mississippi. Right. I think, though, better, better to try that than put another politician on the air, yeah, right? So I think why that's not right. try that? Yeah. All yeah. right. Brett Favre? No, I was going to make an interception yeah. joke, but I won't. Well, I <laughs> be able to ahead. So thanks for coming as we get back to you guys in New York. What do you think about that, Mr. Cuomo? you got a lot of experience in politics. I like the beard on Brett Favre, by the way. I was surprised. It made him look completely not like Brett Favre. Favre. Oh, come on now. Had to be done. Had to be done. I think when you get a local hero, which he certainly is, to come out, it helps you, especially for politicians to get into. People have such low opinions of politicians, such high opinions of their sports stars. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it could hurt the guy. I don't think Maybe. it can hurt that Cochran. Do you, John? Maybe Republicans should have had Brett Favre run. Well, there is See a novel happens. idea. It's going to have to cut that Maybe beard. Maybe that's what that beard is telling us. I don't know. Not my call. I like the beard. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like Wolf Blitzer to me. A little Wolf Blitzer-esque. <laughs> Morning, Wolf. Always We're going to try to do this at least once a week, John.